it had. Go for it. <sighs> Baylor. Baylor, Baylor, Baylor. I don't Baylor know. Baylor Berry. I don't know how, first off. <sighs> you can go back into way oh. back into our archives and find Barry standing for Baylor for a cool, I was, like, two like, seasons. For three years when they were good, and none of their receivers went to the league or made them made. They were all trash. Sean Oakman, trash. I think Andrew Billings is the only one who's still around, and he's actually playing pretty good for the Bengals. But, uh, so, report came out a couple weeks ago, and we haven't had a chance to talk about this because I wanted it to build up. And you didn't even hit that school bell, but go ahead. Uh, I don't, Detention is in session when it comes to Baylor. This is, this is just a bunch of nastiness. Uh... Okay, now Baylor has been in the news because a couple years ago, the story broke. Ken Star, Kenneth Starr, he led the investigation pretty much of, you know, sexual assault at, at Baylor. And there was a rash of guys, and it was mainly directed in the football program where a lot of athletes were jettisoned, kicked out, based off the charges that they had. There was a culture there of just some sexual depravity. and It was bad. School president got fired. At like, clean house. But it's becoming worse and worse and worse the more we find out. Um, there was already a report that came out and said from people who were officials who worked at Baylor at the time that they specifically used the black players on the football team and I'm not making this up, you can find this in stories, that they used the pl- the football players and athletes as scapegoats for sexual assault and, you know, and everything on campus at Baylor when, in fact, there were numerous claims of sexual harassment in the administrative department, like higher-ups. Insane amount of sexual assault, sexual harassment, you name it. Um, and... A bunch of people paid for it. Now Baylor is a Christian, is a private Christian college. Now in Texas, in Texas, TCU. By the way, another private Texas. I think they're private, private uh, Christian. Well, they're Texas Christian University. So, yeah, you put two and two together. And I was giving Texas uh, TCU mad shit years ago when. Okay, I'll calm down. But just uh, the Big Twelve pisses me off. They don't play defense, and like everywhere you look, there's just nastiness. Oh, yeah, by the way, to double back, this ties in with Texas and Tom Herman. He was, he went, when he was at Ohio State, uh, he and Zach Smith went to strip clubs, and there was a lot of kind of ambiguity, and there's issues there. And now the NCAA wants to look into it. But with Baylor, a uh, story came out a bunch of different places. I'll just use the one from Democracy Now. But Baylor University accused of infiltrating sexual assault groups. So Baylor, while they were launching investigations into all this stuff, they actually were infiltrating like literal sexual assault groups on campus that were trying to help heal students, young women, young people. They were infiltrating them for information and intel, all types of things. And... It's just really nasty, disgusting, and disturbing. And I don't know how they haven't gotten the death penalty yet because that entire situation at Baylor was wrong. For like about three, four years, things just coming out. Art Briles, he already got fired. I think he got a no-show clause put on him. Um, He's radioactive at this point. His son is coaching, Kendall Briles, if I'm not mistaken. But Baylor really – like USC got punished for something that – SMU to, got the death penalty. They kind of deserved it, but they weren't, as SMU states, they weren't doing anything that Texas or Alabama or anybody else wasn't doing, and they're right. But, hey, the the small guy lost. But They weren't small back then. No, they weren't small. They actually were competing. And so, but that that's pay for play. That's a whole nother get down. But in this particular case, Shout with Baylor, Baylor at their heights, they won a couple bowl games, but they were – they were never really a threat. But in this particular case, now that Matt Rule, he's there, he's trying to rebuild the program and the trash. So, bro, let me ask you this because you're rambling. Why does no, this matter? Rambling. You are rambling. I'm listening to you. Why does this Why does this matter? I'm just 
disgusted at how the NCAA keeps failing at handling situations like this. USC lost, what, almost 40 scholarships? Realistically, they lost a ton of scholarships, um, were hemorrhaged by the sanctions. Miami got ran through the mud and then ended up not really getting punished. But Baylor did all this nastiness. And they infiltrated sexual assault groups. Do y'all understand, like, how fucked up and evil that is? Like, people who are trying to recover from traumatic trauma in college and they're infiltrating a group. That like, I already have a beef with, like, religious colleges that claim this some this uh, moral high ground over other universities. Don't I'm throwing in Notre Dame and Penn State, too, by the way. Um, and they've had plenty of their... Notre Dame had literally academic dishonesty issues. People were, like, breaking the honor code, not taking classes. There were sexual assaults. Things swept under the rug. But I just want y'all to understand, when it comes to these really religious universities, be careful. Because the same more religious code that they're pushing, eh, it's not what you think it is. There was even issues at uh, I think the biggest thing is BYU a couple years ago. The biggest thing is you have the you have two separate institutions with kind of TCU had mad drug problems. Like all their players were selling like Darren Washington, Casey Paul, Trayvon Trayvon Boykin. Like I I I think you it's because you have a culture. It's nasty. I don't like it. You have a culture of sports, football. University life, which has its own issues, the fact that college campuses are really the most unsafe place for women under, like, 25. But so we already have all those problems. And then you got the issue of football players and masculinity and that sort of culture that we know goes on and interacts on the college campus. And then you throw in the secrecy of religion. And as you alluded to, the the false morals of a tradition that people pretend to attach themselves to when they really don't live, eat, and breathe it. And you have all those different things that just, when when all those things skew to the bad side, it gets really, really bad, and it gets so bad that it becomes tangled, and we don't really even know why? Because there's plenty of blame to go around. Yeah, it's to close out this whole domestic violence situation and sexual the assault. The NCAA. How's Baylor not gotten the death penalty? That's just like there's no – you have no moral high ground. When it comes to paying athletes, you're a snake eating its tail saying they're amateurs, but then you disqualify all the reasons why – they're actually amateurs with your rules and penalties and in fact all this other stuff. And it's just sadly, I don't see it changing one there in Texas. There's a lot of red tape. Mike Leach still hasn't gotten paid from when he got fired. <laughs> in Texas so it's like, and he's kooky as hell. Cliff Kingsbury still around for some reason that Texas State, even though they don't win anything, you got all these schools, all these issues. All I can say is, be careful and stop like I think, what Grand Canyon University. I see that commercial all the time. And I'm just like, these religious universities are even just, like the cults Grand they Canyon have. Grand Canyon has its own issues. They're, they're, they're issue, like BYU literally expelled Grand the Canyon guy. was literally started by like, um, Mormons or something. Not Mormons. No, it was, it started by, um, Basically, this dude who used to own a bunch of Arizona sports teams. But, yeah, wait, basically wait basically wait he, he gave them a bunch of money. And that's why they have, like, a, a really good sports management program and, Hot like, twist. stuff like that. But, I mean, they do give a lot of people degrees and they have a lot of accreditations and they're pretty cheap and pretty flexible. So, I can't that, hate on them too is much. That an ad? But, yeah. The like, basketball team is no, Like, even, even my, my – Ex from high school went there on a ba- on a he base said, on a softball. <laughs> you hear that petty ass shit? On a softball Bruh. scholarship, because I was gonna say like X X X, but I was like, nah, <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, corny. I, that, was, <laughs> that was yo yeah, whatever. Bruh. My former former girlfriend, petty ass hell. But nah, we're cool. We've always been cool. But yeah, she would tell me about just some of the 
stupid codes and things that they had to do deal with just being a, an athlete there. BYU expelled a basketball player because he had sex with his girlfriend. Or like somebody snitched on him. Yeah, like, something like that. It's like, bro, no. This this religious and ambi- this religious high ground. First off, do we really want to talk about the Pope just came out? I think this week or last week, and pretty much asked for forgiveness for letting all those uh, bishops and everybody else molest children and not do anything about it. We really going to have that conversation? So why would you think if you bring all that religion and those rules and secrecy into a cesspool shithole like college football? No, wait, hold on. You can't Hold make on. Time. Here we go. You really this is how we get into a tangent. I'm off the tangent. I'm just saying. It, it does. If you go that, to a religious university, that please stop thinking you're you're but, better than like someone at Florida State because you're not. But honestly, that I'm re- talking about the rule. Makers. Honestly, that really doesn't like. It's not fair to bring the religion into it because it's not really about the religion. It's about the Pope It's about, about the people. Yeah, the people. The people at the top, shit. just like. Just like our own leadership, how we have saying, shitty people at the top, it's the same thing. Yeah, every institution, and shitty people in high ranking and that, and that's, positions. That's exactly what it is. But it has nothing to do with with the religion. It's it's the but the, religion the religion as an bully, institution. They're using the religion. It's the institution. To bully people. The people using the people. In it's the institution, the institution. But the people are enforcing the rules. So I'm blaming the people. Yeah, but, but what you saying, said is when you bring all that religion to it. And you mix it with college football, it's a shit show. But Baylor the is difference a shit is. Show. Baylor should not be allowed to have sports. First off, the difference years is, ago, their teammates, this kicker, stabbed and shot and murdered one of his teammates. Basketball players, you remember all those cases? They okay, like, but that's not that's not what I'm talking I'm about. Saying, that's not what my qualm is. My qualm is you bringing the, the slippery really slope of comparing this to the decades of and culture that is the Catholic Church, as far as oh no, don't being, think the Christian Church is any better. Being, I, I, I can I know a ton of shitty black preachers. I'm are, just talking about done? like I'm just talking about religious again, figures. bro. This is this is this is some shit where I I feel like we we shouldn't talk about because I don't feel like you're up to, up to quorum with this. Did you just make it? You said up to corn. Yeah, pretty much. Because it's like, bro, I, I, I really don't want to talk about this because I, I already know how you feel about religion. So it's really not going to be productive. Uh, I mean, it could be. But because the fact that you even just said Christian church is like, okay, bro, Catholics are Christians. Come on. Okay, it's like I'm not. I didn't pick on just one group of people. I'm no, just no, saying. no. But what I'm saying is what, like comparing a, a university and I mean, we go over this every week, bro. Your your language is just kind of lazy sometimes. Like when you say bring religion to it, no, like you just the religion I'm talking about everyone. The, the religion, not, the right? religion is not the issue. The religion is not the issue. The I people in the religion are the issue. That's what I the just people said. Are the top. I literally just said the people using religion and if, to to ruin other. But people's that's not lives. what you said. You said when you bring religion to it. No, but I'm okay. I'm saying I'm not giving people who. In these high-ranking, in these religious environments, in these religious schools, who have high-ranking power, I'm not going to expect them to be moral when I already know the backstory. I think what I think what you're trying to say is something that you just said: power, because that's really what we're talking about. We're talking about power, regardless of whatever institution that is. If it's a university, whether it's the Catholic Church, we're talking about power, yeah. and that's really what it is. It, it really has. Nothing to do with what you believe spiritually or even what you believe morally necessarily. It's really just about power. I'm not talking on an individual basis. I'm saying like All right, I'm a, schools okay. like Baylor, TCU, they have this aura of they market the fact that they're a religious institution, but they're doing a bunch of depraved shit to their own students. Yeah, I got that. That's what I'm saying. I'm talking about the hypocrisy of that. Like don't you don't promote the religion but then you doing shady shit and hide, throwing throwing stones and hiding your hands like nah that's not cool and that's why like a lot of a lot of other schools that aren't they don't promote religion in, as part of their curriculum and all this other stuff like it's bad all across the board go to USC they've been domestic violent uh, a linebacker a couple years ago got expelled from the school for sexual assault Bryce Dixon got expelled for but I'm 
Going yeah, I really don't. Here, I really honestly, don't even know what you're saying anymore. Bottom line is, <laughs> I really don't even know. Bottom what you're line saying is, anymore. the schools that like promote religion don't act like.